The main purpose of the Earth System Physics section is to study the Earth System in a holistic way, so to study all the interactions between the different components of the system, atmosphere, ocean, biosphere, and so on. The main activity actually is uh, to study the Earth's climate, and in particular climate change due to anthropogenic activities. This is a very important issue, especially for developing countries, because developing countries are the most vulnerable to climate change. We approach this problem using climate models. In particular, we have developed a regional climate model that allows us to make projections of climate change at the regional and local scale to evaluate the impacts of climate change. You can reproduce really well the internal variability compared with observations. Our model is one of the most used in the world and we regularly organize workshops at ICTP and also in different regions of the world. We have a diploma course. We have about 10 students from the least developed countries. How does that instability actually express itself? We also have a PhD program with the University of Trieste. One of the aspects of the climate issue that we are very interested in is the increase in catastrophic events like floods and droughts. We look at the impacts on human health and air quality, especially in megacities. These things happened after the Northridge earthquake, but at a depth of seven and eight kilometers beneath a very strong basin. The Solid Earth Geophysics Group relies on seismology, space geodesy, tectonics and numerical modeling to understand the way earthquake faults stick and slip in time, and this for a more realistic assessment of the earthquake hazard. The research is done with strong educational components with focus on fellows from developing countries, and this in order to fulfill the mission of ICTP.